In this example, we're converting a multiple source system and we're finding the information necessary to create the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits. Now compared to the previous example, you might think this is uh, more complicated because it's got two sources. As it turns out, this one's rather simple. So we want to convert this circuit into either the Thevenin equivalent or the Norton equivalent and to do that we need to find any two of these three items. As we've previously stated, once we've found two of them, we can find the third. So the first one we'll look for is the short circuit current. Now in the case of the short circuit current, we realise that all the current through the, from the two amp source will flow into the short circuit. The other resistor there becomes irrelevant because the short circuit is directly across it. Therefore the current from the 20 volt supply is 20 volts is only limited by the 5 ohm resistor. So 20 volts over 5 ohms, 4 amps, 2 amps from the 2 amp supply, 6 amps in total according to Kirchhoff's current law. So we've very quickly found the short circuit current. So now let's look for the network resistance. If we use uh, source zeroing and the source zeroing is we replace the current sources with open circuits and we replace the voltage sources with short circuits this is our new network then you realize straight away that the 5 and the 20 are in parallel giving us a total of 4 ohms and that's our network resistance so we've got the open circuit voltage we've got the network resistance oh, sorry we had the current and the network resistance and that allowed us to calculate the short circuit voltage and that allows us to create both the Thevenin equivalent and the Norton equivalent. On the left our open circuit voltage was 24 volts internal resistance of 4 ohms on the right our short circuit current was 6 amps internal resistance of 4 ohms. Either one of those circuits can be used to replace the circuit above. So that was a more complex multiple source circuit analyzed to develop the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits.